And Indo Banerjee is now joining us with more details. And Indo, what is happening at the moment? How long are these FTII students likely to protest in the national capital? Maha, it's quite uncertain as we speak. Uh, around half an hour back, they dispersed from Jantar Mantar after uh, uh, protesting for more than four hours. We have seen various political parties are coming in support of them, uh, including leaders like uh, JDU, KC Tiagi and uh, Raj Babur of the uh, Congress party came in. They lent their support. Also various NGOs came, they came in their support. And after uh, beyond a point of four hours, they agreed to disperse and from there on they moved. But now it seems that they have again uh, uh, got together and uh, protest near YMCA, which is around uh, half a kilometer away from Jantar Mantar. And uh, they have assembled in uh, huge numbers over there as well. So this matter is not going to die down anytime soon. And they uh, realizing the fact that the parliament, uh, the monsoon session is in uh, monsoon, uh, the parliament is in session and uh, all the political parties, all the uh, the media attention is there in the capital. They yes. want to take absolute, uh, you know, uh, they want to score the, score the brownie points here. Also, Anindo, uh, Rahul Gandhi went to Pune to FTII and gave a talk there to the students, uh, asking them to continue with their protest. Are we seeing uh, uh, any sort of political support here in Delhi as well as these students protest at Jantar Mantar? Absolutely, uh, Maha. I mean, uh, we we broke this uh, broke this information earlier in, uh, in on, on India today that uh, various political parties. Now earlier we have seen Rahul Gandhi went going there and lending lending his support. Today we have seen from the very beginning NSUI uh, in coming in large numbers NSUI supporters. But later in the day, uh, K C Tiagi of JDU huh? uh, issued a press release saying that members of Parliament, uh, particularly Mr K C Tiagi of JDU, Mohammad Salim of CPM, Mr Rajiv Shukla of Congress. Mr. D. Raja of CPI and also Mr. D. P. Tripathi of the NCP have condemned the appointment of Rajendra Chauhan, Gajendra Chauhan. So there you have it. I mean, a whole lot of, I mean, it's not a, no, no longer only co Congress coming in support of them. It's about a whole plethora of parties with left-leaning coming, coming together and lending their support to uh, the cause. And it doesn't look at the moment that the INB ministry is likely to budge on the matter, does it, Anindo? Uh, Maha, what we learned, what you're learning from our sources within IMD ministry is that uh, there was a little window of talk. I mean, you, we all know that there are various uh, talks between the IMD ministry as well as the uh, as a representative of the uh, uh, one. The last one happened in North Block between Arun Jaitley and the protesters. Uh, but uh, you know, I mean, but, there's, there's, but nothing came out concrete. There was a little window still of uh, hope was there, but after Rahul Gandhi going there and making the statement he did and making it a political a political issue, uh, the, what we are learning from us within the ministry is that now that window is even closed. All right, Anindo, stay on with us. Let's quickly tell our viewers what they are seeing on the television screens uh, are shots of FTIS students who have now moved their protest from Pune to Delhi here in the national capital. It's the protest is on at Jantar Mantar. Nearly 80 students of the Beleaguered Institute are in Delhi staging a protest to highlight their demand. That is the resignation of uh, Gajendra Chauhan, the chairperson. They believe that he does not have a body of work worthy of the chairman of such a prestigious institute.